Hello friend, welcome. In this video, we'll um, play with um, basic Haskell recursion. Um, let's get started. And uh, actually we'll play with our uh, insertion sort. Okay, um, let's get started. So GHCI, our favorite interactive and Glasgow Haskell compiler. Uh, interactive okay so control L to clean up uh, let's warm up with some uh, simple um, case so we know the concatenation of two lists can be um, implement no can be <laughs> achieved by using plus plus right that's the uh, library provided uh, function so we can do something like two to five concatenate with um, like zero to three right two to the five two three four five and uh, zero one two three okay so how can we implement this thing yeah we we can also use like put this one at the beginning right we can call this function this way yeah so any uh, any function with two arguments we can do in both way this way uh, it's called prefix this is infix okay and now how can we implement this one using recursion uh, that's good um, let's do our version for that okay let this one um, so C let C for concatenate okay our function name so it will map a list to list to list to a result list, right? So so if the first one, the base case, if the first one is empty, right? we need to to do a recursion we need a base case and a recursive case the base case is like uh, say the 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 first list is empty right and then the second one for example is that then this one of course uh, concatenating an empty list to uh, another one is just the, the other one right and uh, if the first one now is this right x and xs like this is the head con cons constructs cons xs this is the the, the first list the, this is still the, the the second list then it will be how can we concatenate that we'll use the X right cons constructs with the uh, the two right the tail of the first one concatenates with the second one right so this is the head of the first one so the recursive case is we use the the head of the first list um, to construct right insert this head into another list another list is the tail of the first one and the and the the, the second list Put it together that's it so let's see 
um, here, right? Now let's use our own function here. Yeah, it's the same. Now can we do this? We use the back tick, right? This one. Oh, C concatenate. Yeah, cool, right? Now let's move on to do our insert. Okay. So to insert um, an an element to a sorted to a sorted. Uh, list. So, for example, if we want to put a three into a list like one, two, four, five, six, we want to. So this one will put the three uh, at the beginning, right? Like that. So let's implement a function to. To put the three in order, okay. So let's give a name like insert, okay. So now let's start, right? So insert, yeah. So this time we need the uh, the element, the element of the list to be the type of that should be. Um, should be the member of class order like that because it cannot be we, we need to compare the we need to compare the the element to be so to be sorted right so now we'll insert a type of a which uh, belongs to class odd order okay and uh, the second one the second parameter argument is a list then we'll get our inserted the finished list of that okay so now if we insert the base case is easy right if we have something to be inserted into an empty array, we just get that, right? That's the the list we get. Uh, no, it's not array. Sorry, it's a list. And uh, now, what if we insert x into like this one, right? How can we do that? So. Um, we need to differentiate, we need to compare x and y, right? So if x is less than or equal to y, we just put it in front of the, the y. So guard, uh, if x less than or equal to y, then it's easy, right? We just put the, this one in front of it otherwise otherwise we insert right because now it means x is greater than y x is greater than y so we can insert the y to the tail of the original uh, list and put the y here then we can insert x to this does it make sense right we put this x insert the the tail of original list to make it in order then the y is still the smallest because yeah otherwise it means x is greater than uh, the smallest no this is not the um, 
the why is oh yeah why is because the this list is sorted so why is the smallest yeah okay so let's try it insert three to like zero one two five seven okay yeah it works okay now can we use this insert to to do a sorting like called insertion sort so for example we want to sort right a list like like right an arbitrary order can we sort that using our insert function okay so let's define our function like I sort so we still need the element that can be compared right so that the element type belongs to ORD, 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 ORDER actually, ORDER class. So now we, the input is a list of A and the output is the sorted one, right? Now the, what's the base case? Of course, base case is as simple as empty list, right? <laughs> it can the result is empty that's the sorted one okay now if it's not empty how can we sort it here um we can we can sort we can use this sort, right? I sort to sort the tail. And then we can insert the head. Insert our head into the sorted tail. Right? Is it cool? So the recursive thinking yeah makes the problem very easy so we this is the head we want to sort the um a list like that right a list like that so we can insert we can sort the tail here right S then we can insert the tail just like that right insert that into the character location then it's done oh we say should so what's wrong with that um, let's check again here so with actual time couldn't match So that is our implementation. Insert. Oh, do we need a parenthesis here? Yeah, yeah, right. Otherwise, the insert x will, right? We use this one as the second uh, argument. Actually, is 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 this one? That's the problem. Now, okay. So let's try to sort our li this one, okay? I sort. Wow. Zero, two, five, six, nine. Cool, right? Okay. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.